Welcome to MacroCode. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. So today we are going to proceed with our video on .NET MAUI. So we had created an employees list where you can be able to add a new employee. You can also uh, select country, constituency, uh, location, uh, sub-locations, uh, village, uh, first name, uh, middle name, last name. And you can also provide email address. Then uh, select the date of birth. Choose the year. Choose the year. Then this is uh, the date. Then you can actually save. So you can see on our previous video, if you are new to this channel, you can consider watching uh, some of our previous videos. So on our previous videos, we actually provided an activity indicator. You can see at the bottom here, there is a, a loading icon. So you can see it is actually loading. Then we have a message of the uh, what we are actually recording. So if you click OK, it will actually save the data on our uh, grid view. So you can see this is a, a grid and it is actually within the collection view. So if we click or tab one of these lists, you are able to me tab one. If you tab one, you are able to see the data. Uh, we also do some editing. You can also edit and you can delete. So if we just delete, you are able to delete the employee record. If you tab, you can also see. And if we just uh, delete, you are able to delete uh, the record. So that is part of what we have done. So on, a, on today's video, we want to do something uh, small. So we want to add an employee photo. Assuming we want to capture an, a photo on this uh, app, so you can be able to do that. So to begin with, let's uh, stop our app. Then we can uh, go directly to our add employee form. So on our add employee form, just below the uh, date of birth, I'm going to provide a stack layout. So I'll just do stack layout, then I close it. Sorry, uh, let me just do stack stack layout. So inside our stack layout, let's provide a button that we'll be able to uh, that we can be using now to capture our photo. So I'll say button, then uh, I can give it a name. So I'll say uh, take a photo. Then I'll also uh, give a color, maybe style, uh, bind, so it'll say static uh, resource, and I can give it uh, maybe green. So our colors are on uh, our resources, then styles, then colors, so we can actually say uh, navigation, So or we can pick the primary brush. So this will be our color. So we just have this there. Then the next thing that you can do is actually the text. So you can now say capture, you can say tech capture employee photo. That will be our text. Then uh, the next thing that you can do is actually provide the text color. So you can do also, uh, can do this, you say a static resource. Then we can actually do white. So that will be the color of our, of our, this will be, so this will be style here. We can actually say, I think that is fine. So then we can, we can close this. So I'll just remove, I can actually close this. Can have it this way. So after we have done that, if you click this button, we should be able to capture a photo but we'll want to preview that photo just below the button. So what we can do, we can provide an image. So we say image, then we can uh, actually give it a name. So the name, we can say this is a uh, emp photo. So that is the name of our, then we can also uh, define the height a request. We can say uh, 350. Then we can also define the, the vertical options. So you can say you want it to be filled and expand, then you can close this. 
So uh, since you have done that, the next thing that you are going to do is to de define the photo that is going to capture our employee record. So how do, how do we do that? So we are going to uh, do that in our uh, view model. So come to our come to our employee add view model here. So just below the constructor, we are going to define a, a command. So I'll just say public, public I command. I'll just say public I command, I'll use I command. Then I can say capture. That is the name of our command, employee photo. Then I can actually say, uh, this is get. Then, since I've done that, so this is public. So the, the add command inside the constructor. So I want us to do something inside the constructor. So if you just say, see our constructor, this begin up to here. So inside here, I'm going to define now this capture command, capture employee photo command. I just say capture employee photo command. I'll define it here. Then I say this is equal to new. I'll just uh, initiate, say new. Then I say new command. Then I'll say inside the command, I'll say do capture employee. So these are function photo. Then I'll do that comma. Then I'll, I'll say uh, equals to, let's say this is equals to uh, media media picker then i'll say is supported so i check if that is uh, supported then i'll define this function do capture employee photo so i'll just say private then async void then i i'll provide it here then i need to close it so that is it so inside here i'll provide try catch so I'll do try catch, catch anything that we can experience. So inside the try, so we are going to have a variable, say photo is equals to await, then media picker dot capture. We want to capture photo. So we'll just do that. So once the photo is captured, so we want this photo, once it is captured, we actually load it on our uh, image section. So we should be able to see the photo that has been captured. So what we need to do, we need to define a string that will actually provide the path of the, of the photo. So to do that, just below here, we are going to define the, a string. So we'll say private, you can say private string, then we say, uh, employee employee photo path so this is our path for the photo that we uh, should be expecting then I'll say public public string then I do so I'll just maybe this I can have this as small e then I'll do a capital E here then I'll say so I'll open and close that then I can say get, do that. Then I say is equals to this one. Then close it. Then I'll say uh, set should be equals to set property. Then uh, inside I'll do that. Then uh, that should be fine. So uh, this one, we need now to assign this path once we capture the photo at the top. So how do we do that? So come to our photo. So we'll say employee path is equals to, so we need to assign the path of the, of the photo that you have just uh, captured. So to do that, we'll say employee photo is equals to await. So we need to load the photo. So uh, the load function, we need to define the load function that will give us the complete uh, path of the, of the, of the, of the, of the, of the photo. So I'll do something. So let's come to our local base uh, view model. So if you just come, you'll see we have the local base view model. 
So I'm going to define our load photo function here that will actually give us the uh, photo path. So I'll say public, then I'll say async uh, task stream. Then we are expecting a string that is the complete URL of our photo. So I'll say load photo because this will be uh, a generic function. Then you're expecting a file result. Eh? File uh, result. Then you'll say result. Or you can just call it photo. Then inside here, we need now to uh, do some things. So we'll say, we'll say a variable stream is equals to photo that you have just uh, provided there open read so we need to read it then we need to get the result so after we have the photo you should actually convert this to bytes so we'll say byte uh, we can define this as byte or we can just read it the way it is we can define a byte image so we'll say image data let's not assign something here so say this image data then we can read so we'll say using so we'll say using a memory memory stream so we'll do using memory stream ms is equals to new memory stream so i'll do that then inside here i'll say stream dot copy to ms then i'll say image data i need to assign our bytes here equals to that and then to array so that should be fine so i also want to define the height of the image so i can actually define it here so i'll say variable width of the image i can also define it here i'll say that then i'll do uh Let's uh, define some uh, height. So the height we can do, let's say four, uh, four, four eight. Then we can also do uh, width. The that is the width. Then the height we can also do height of the image. We can do seven twenty. So uh, that is it. So we need to we need to now uh, do something small. So we need to resize our photo. So we can actually resize our photo or we can actually leave it the way it is. So instead of uh, resizing, we can actually uh, maybe just leave it the way it is because this is wh what we should actually be using to resize. So we can actually resize, but we can actually uh, do away with that. Then we can say, just get the photo as it is. You can say folder and just get folder path is equals to path dot combine so we need to get the path so we'll get a file system file system then dot app directory we combine with the folder so we can actually define the folder so where we want our 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 photos to be stored so we can say our photos should be stored on uh we can provide your stream sorry so we can say it is employee employee photo so this is now our folder so after we have done that we should actually check if this folder exists so we say if so this is where our photos will be stored eh? we say if there is no file dot exist then you pass our folder path if this is not doesn't exist what should we do so we should actually do another close here so we should actually create so we'll say directory dot create directly path we pass the path so after it has done that we'll say now variable new file is equals to we say path dot combine then you say folder path this one we'll do that folder path 
then we say we provide now the photo name so we'll say photo what we had provided at the top here here so you already now have this path eh? so we want to save the date the file now to this uh, folder so we'll say photo then we provide the name of the photo and you can actually define how you will want the name to uh, be so you can also define the naming of your files based on how you will want it to appear so after we have done the combine uh, bit then we can now save we can now save the we can now write the file to that folder so what we need to do we need to say using so you can actually save the file so we'll say variable stream so we'll say stream 2 is equals to new say memory so this should be memory stream then you can say so this should be memory stream or you can just uh, do away with that we just uh, save the the file as it is because you can say that then we do that so we can uh, do that so we can actually say a stream 2 is equal to memory stream then we have our data here remember we had already copied our stream to this one so what we need to do we need to we need to assign uh, the stream here we can, act, we can actually do something uh, we can say we can say variable new stream then is equals to we can actually do this we say file dot open write we need to write it then we need to write the new file this one so we pass the path that is it the string path then after we have passed the string path then we need to write the stream so we will say we will say uh, the image data here then we can or we can just copy the stream here we can copy the stream here we take this stream then we copy the stream to <coughs> this new stream then it will be able to write the file to that folder so that is the code on what we should actually do to save the file then what we need to do is we need to return we return this new file so remember we have now saved here the file and we should actually return it so when we load this photo on our view model so we need to get the file path so we actually do load photo then we need to pass the the photo that you have just captured so we'll say for photo because we're expecting a file result so that should actually give us the the photo uh, path that we have uh, captured but in case there is an error we can actually provide an alert or we can just uh, do this we write some uh, console line uh, that is it so when we click these uh, commands so capture photo command so if you just add these on our add employee we need to bind it here so we'll say uh, command then we can actually bind it we can say binding then we provide the uh, uh, command there. Then on our image, to actually show the image, we can actually say uh, source. Then we need to bind it based on our uh, our path. You see this path that we have here, this one. So this is the source of our file. So it will actually get in the file based on that source. So if we just bind it here, we should actually expect the the path of that file so if we just launch our app now and we try to capture so i'll just uh, put in some uh, breakpoints here so that you're able to see how our app looks like but before we do that i think there is an error so let me see so but before we do that there's an error at the top here yes so we are supposed to close this yeah so that is closed but before we do that we need to provide the 
the, 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 the permissions. So to do that, come to our app, then we have something called uh, uh, platforms, then Android, then Android manifest. So if we click this, we should be able to see that you should actually provide the uh, permissions here. So this is where you actually uh, give the permissions to your to your app so that it can be able to uh, provide the, uh, to give you the rights to, to provide the, to capture the photo. So what you need to do there is actually give the rights for the photo. So I'll just, so I'll just uh, maybe design, then uh, open. So I think this is fine. So what I need to do is to give the rights for, for the, for the for the camera. So what we need to do here, so let's define the uh, right. So we will say, we can just copy this. Then here we'll replicate this, we say Android. Then the name should be Android permission that here we need to say camera. So it's, uh, we'll just say camera. Uh, then we have the one for the internet. I don't think there is anything that we need to uh, cap. I think we also need to provide something, uh, the right for, for it to write to uh, external storage. So we'll say uh, Android permission, right? So here we'll say right underscore external underscore storage. So this is the right that you should actually provide. We can also need, we need also the right to read. Eh? So we'll say read, here should be read, uh, external uh, storage. So we can also have, we can add another one to manage. So we'll say, sorry, so I'll just copy this here. So I'll need to close this. So I'll say this is a manage, so I'll say manage. So it should be manage, then external uh, storage. We can also uh, do the right for media. So we'll do another right here. That is the permission. So we'll say Android permission. Then here we say uh, right. Then uh, media. Yeah, so we'll say media. Then uh, storage. So I think that should be fine uh, for everything that we have. Uh, we can also do manage. We have the manage external. Then we have the read. So anything that we need to add, I don't think this should be fine. So we can also just leave it the way it is. So these are the permissions that you should actually add. So if we launch our app, we should now be able to capture the photo and be able to see the path where the photo is captured. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and watching our previous uh, videos. So we actually noticed some of you guys are watching our videos and you are not subscribing. So please subscribe so that you can be able to uh, do more videos and comment down below in case you have any suggestion or even a better way to do things. I'll uh, see you in our next uh, videos on uh, some of the uh, things. But before that, let's see our videos for now. Or let's see how our app looks like and how we can be able to enhance it. So our app is launching. So let's see how it will work. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Comment down below in case you feel the video is interesting. So if we click new, let's see if everything is well. So you can see we have our capture photo, employee photo on our screen. Then we have this section that is empty, which actually will give us the section to uh, have our photo. If I just click this button, you can see we have our breakpoint. So if we, I just uh, proceed, it will actually give us an option to, you see, it is actually giving us an option for us to uh, capture. So I'll say while using this app, uh, allow. So it has something wrong. So I'll just uh, do that. Then I'll say, we'll see a uh, feature is not supported either when there was no camera on the device or Android uh, media dot action image capture was not added. 
So I think that is, uh, we need a right for uh, image capture. Okay, to actually address uh, these uh, exceptions that you are getting here, we can actually add, uh, we need to add something on our Android manifest uh, XAML file. So we just come here. I want you guys to add this code. So uh, queries intent, then action Android name, Android media dot action dot image capture. So ensure you add this, this just inside the manifest. So after you have done that, you can actually launch our app so that you can be able to see if it will uh, have the, uh, that option. So ensure you have added this to avoid that uh, error. So this we are using Android emulator. So if I just do that, if I click new uh, new employee, then I click capture, uh, there we are. So if I move uh, capture photo, it will actually ask me, you can see, it has actually asked me to capture the uh, photo. So I'll just uh, capture. Then you can see, I can click uh, this uh, selection. Then it will actually load the photo. You can see we have the photo uh, microsoft.mavi.storage.file result. So if I just proceed, it will load the for employee photo pack. You can see the photo is under data, user, zero com, com dot company name dot employee app files. Then we have the employee uh, photo that we have just added. Then this is the, this is the uh, employee, that is the photo name. So this is the photo name. So this employee photo should be actually the, be the source of our app. So if I just uh, proceed, then we should actually be able to see the photo under this section. So guys, we have managed to capture the photo. So uh, please watch our next videos on how we are going to preview the photo that we have just uh, captured. So see you in our next video.